Snickers launched an advertising campaign in Australia in partnership with 7-Eleven that changes the price of the candy bar based on the mood of the internet. And when anger goes up, Snickers prices go down. Australia, get angry. Let's get those things down to 20 cents. <laughs> Introducing the hunger rhythm, a hunger algorithm that linked price to people's real-time moods. As anger went up, prices went down at every 7-Eleven in Australia. Built on a 3,000-word lexicon from MIT, the hunger rhythm analyzed over 14,000 social posts a day to determine sentiment. It even understood sarcasm and slang, and not just any slang, Aussie slang. Prices updated 144 times a day, and users simply clicked Get a Snickers on the Hunger Rhythm mobile site to get a 7-Eleven barcode. No downloading apps or printing required. That would have just made them angrier. As prices dropped, fans were alerted via reactive social content. There has been considerable fluctuation on the Hunger Rhythm lately. Live in-store displays and more. Each new price had a backstory. Whether it was a politician saying something utterly stupid, people losing their minds over a show, or a country breaking up with the entire EU. The hunger rhythm turned the price of a candy bar into something people actually wanted to follow. Even Reddit liked it, and they hate everything. By changing its price over 5,000 times in five weeks, one of Australia's largest chocolate brands created a massive social media and PR spike. But one stat mattered most, the 67% sales increase. And for the first time, You're Not You When You're Hungry was linked to real-world mood and real-world sales. Snickers Hunger Rhythm. The angrier the internet, the cheaper the Snickers.